Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I have another coffee card to share with you today. Hey everybody, so I'm using the Sunburst card mat die along with the Coffee Break stamp set, the Mushroom for Coffee stamp set, Stitch Square dies, and our Word Bubble dies. Alright, so as before I have the background already created using freshly brewed um, honeybee pad, uh, six inch pad, along with doodle bugs, um, sea glass, cardstock, and the paper tray ink, um, dark chocolate cardstock. And I went ahead and I stamped, you saw the little gnome cup, and that was from the mushroom for coffee, coffee stamp set, colored with Copics, they'll all be listed on my blog. And now I'm going ahead and stamping the sentiment um, from the stamp set Coffee Break with VersaFine Claire Nocturning onto Paper Trank White's cardstock that I cut out of Paper Trank, oh, white, white cardstock, like I said. And I cut out paper from the pad or from the paper pad called Echo Park. It's from the 12 inch paper line. And I just cut out that little sentiment. It says, I like big cups and I cannot lie. And it just cracked me up. And I cut that out using the Stitch Square die. And then I added a layer of dark chocolate cardstock, an eighth of an inch larger than that. And then I'm going to add um, a white border, an eighth of an inch larger, larger than that. So there we go. So I've got that all put together. So I've got a piece of paper trank white cardstock, 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches using my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. All of my die cutting today was done with my Gemini machine as per usual. Um, those backgrounds were made in a previous video a long time ago and um, I'm just using them up now. I think I've got one more after this one. I'm just going to add this to the front of my card base using uh, uh, this, uh, I think it's an Ameri American Crafts um, tape runner. I'm trying to use these up. Adding that on, just going to make sure it's in good contact with that background with my Teflon bone folder. And now I've got that adorable little gnome cup. Now I cut that out using my Brother Scan and Cut. Uh, with a 0.4 border. Now I'm going to pop this little guy up with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals, or at least the, you know, the uh, framed edge of it. You know, you want to use up every little piece. And like I said, all of my Copic colors will be listed on my blog. Um, along with, um, I also did some highlights using my Secure White Jelly Roll pen and a number 10. So there we go. Like, how cute is that? It's just the most adorable. I love that stamp set. That mushroom for coffee is just too darn cute. Love it. There we go. So I think this is going to be so cute. I like big cups and I cannot lie. Um, and it'll say thanks a latte. Like too darn cute. There we go. So I'm going to pop up the thanks a latte one more layer higher. So it'll overlap a little bit, which is kind of fun. And... Um, yeah, I'm just loving these. I love the sunburst card mat die. I just think it's beautiful. And, you know, if you want to, you know, have some fun one day, you can just basically cut out a million patterns and colors and just get creating because you can make so many backgrounds. And it's just lots of fun, I find. The background creating, it's like putting a puzzle together. I, I really like it. I like to use double-sided tape. Um, you know, to stick it all down. I just love that. And it's just a lot of fun. There we go. One of my favorite Jaded Blossom dies. Although all their dies are my favorite. Let's be honest. There's no dies that they make that I don't like. It's, it's impossible. I like them all. There we go. So a couple extra, like another extra layer um, on the spot that's not overlapping. And there we go. So thanks a latte. Like, isn't that cute? It's just adorable. So now you'll see that I pull out my fancy heart dies. And I always keep the leftover cuts in there because I use those hearts as embellishments on projects. And lo and behold, I already had the sea glass cut out of the, the doodlebug um, textured cardstock. And I'm going to add three of those little hearts. Like, how cute are they? Like, just so cute. I love it. There we go. And then I've got a gold one in there. I think that's American Crafts gold cardstock. I think that's that Christmas foil pad. And I'm going to add that too, because how cute is that? So I'll use the um, Stampin' Up Dimensionals, the little tiny ones. And then I'm just going to stick down that, that gold one flat. And then here's where this card takes a little turn, because I changed my mind a little bit. 
I don't mention this one item that I used. And there we go, like too cute. But I decide that gnome needs something. And what does he need? He needs glasses. He needs glasses, of course. So I always cut out multiples of glasses when I'm creating. And I cut out um, black ones for this for this project. So this is uh, Paper Train Black Cardstock. And I'm just going to stick these down onto the gnome. And then I cut the glasses out again in the sea glass cardstock. And that's going to be the color of the lenses. So there we go using art glitter glue. And look how cute that is. Like, hello. Adorable. You can put glasses on anything. There we are. Now I'm going to fill in where the lenses go with some art glitter glue. And then I'm going to pop the centers in there. And how cute is that? It's just too darn cute. I love it. Just love it. He's adorable. There we go. He's like a little rock star there. A little gnome mug coffee rock star. <laughs> there we go. And now I'm going to um, add a second layer on those glasses just because I felt like I ne it needed it. So I'm just going to add some art glitter glue. And then I'll add the second layer on. And like I said, I usually cut out, when I'm cutting out glasses, I usually just cut out the whole works at once. And then I stick all the leftovers in the bag. I just find that's just the easiest. I'm just tapping off some excess glue there. And now I'm going to pop on the second layer of glasses. There we go. He's so cute. Just adorable, making sure I don't have any glue oozing out anywhere. I'm going to clean that up. And then I'm going to do a little bit of adding a little bit of shine. There we go. And I'm going to pull out my Pico embellisher and it's just in the shimmer color. Shake it up really well. And then I'm going to add it all over the glasses and to the lenses just to add a little bit of shine and a little bit of glitter. And I think it just, it ended up being too darn cute. I always forget I have this Pico embellisher. I tend to use my glossy accents for shine, but you know, but every once in a while I remember I've got this, this, uh, this bottle of, you know, shiny goodness. And I thought I'm going to use that this time. There we go. And it's got a nice, really fine tip so you can get right in there and get a really good coverage, especially on the tiny lines of the glasses. You just can't go wrong with that. It's just, I just, I, I love it. It's just so cute. There we go. And like I said before, all the Copic colors that I used on this little mug, they'll all be listed on my blog. I always put everything there that I use. So in case you want to create this card, you can look at my recipe and basically find out everything that I used. There we go. Like how cute is that? It's so pretty. There we go. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog to get inspired Jada Blossom store to get your hot little hands on some of these prod products. And thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And we will see you soon in my next one. Bye, everyone.